with the Los Angeles Times. I'm Lindsay Theory. This is UCLA beat reporter Chris Foster. We're in San Bernardino. The Bruins wrapping up day four of training camp. We're going to go through a progress report, not just through four days, but Chris, really four years of the Jim Mora era. It was about more than 100 degrees here in San Bernardino, but it looks a lot different than training camp four years ago. Well, yeah, four years ago, uh, it was a little bit hotter. It was it was pretty tough conditions, and they were having guys dropping left and right. They were going to the tent to get hydrated. They were going to the tent to get hydrated. They kept going to the tent to get hydrated. One day, they were down to three offensive linemen. You didn't see anybody leave the field today to go, go get hydrated. Mm -hmm. And that is just an indication of how much better a condition this team is in with Salalosi as their strength coach, is that they're able to come out and handle these conditions. So I think that's one of the big improvements in the four years here. Quarterback competition, it's a, it's a big one for Jim Mora, who has said multiple times he wants to make sure he gets it right. Josh Rosen and Jerry Neuheisel, obviously the front runners in that competition. Who's your pick right now after four days? Well, you, you say competition like there's a competition. Wait, there's not a competition? I think we are pretty much are heading towards a freshman starting. Mm -hmm. I have nobody said that to me. I don't want to get a coach in trouble. But the indications are from what I see is that Josh Rosen will be our starting quarterback on September 5th. Now, a lot could happen between now and then, but he certainly looks like he's tracking to do that. Jerry Neuheisel knows the offense. He's... Um, a smart kid. He's saved him at Texas last year, but I think Josh Rosen just has that kind of high-end skill that you need, and you're going to want to get him on the field as soon as you can so he starts learning. And if it is a freshman quarterback who has to step up right away, he's surrounded by plenty of depth on the offense at really every position. Yeah, they, they do not lock for talent. I, I wrote it before, and I got in some some fans who were upset with me about from another school across town, but I think Oregon and UCLA have the best depth and talent in this conference. Uh, it's ironic that both schools are need to find a quarterback, but just overall talent top to bottom, UCLA is loaded. I mean, you, they have a group of receivers that you don't know who's going to go out there and play. They got 10, 12 guys that could end up playing on this team. They're, they're that good. And as Jim Mora said, they have a couple of freshman tailbacks or running backs who've really stood out today at least. Yeah, the, the freshmen have looked good. Um, I, I think uh, Soso Jamabo is mm -hmm. going to find a role somewhere. I think Bola, and I can't pronounce his last name very well, but he's going to be a strong back in the future. So yeah, they, they have, and of course they have Paul Perkins, the Pac-12 right. leading rusher back. So if Josh Rosen's the quarterback, he's certainly going to have people around him that know what they're doing. That's all fun and games on offense over on defense. Kenny Clark and Eddie Vanderdose have really been anchoring it for them and continue to do so. Well, you're talking about guys who've played together for two years at nose tackle and the defensive end slash defensive tackle. They know each other. They're comfortable with each other. They're tight friends. And those two guys just give you a rock to build your defense around. Linebackers can go and create havoc because of what Eddie and Kenny do up front, occupying those guys up on the line. So, I mean, th those you have two guys like that, you got a good start on your defense, and they have a lot more besides those guys. So the Bruins are through four days of training camp. They have a long way to go on day five. They'll put on pads. Keep it on the Los Angeles Times for all the latest on the Bruins. With Chris Foster, I'm Lindsay Theory.